This 20 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. And by Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services. All right, welcome everybody to our post-game show here at Baker Field. I'm Jeff Castillo with Mike Redmond joining me up in the booth. And we just witnessed a great, great high school football game between two evenly matched teams, uh, eight-man football. I'm not sure you could ask for a much better game. Uh, went back and forth, lots of lead changes, and uh, what an exciting ball game all the way through. Yeah, boy, oh boy, and that's just that one. That one leaves it reeling. Yeah, almost. that's good stuff. It really was, but and you know. Uh, even though Marion lost, boy, you certainly can't walk out of here with your head down. I mean, they gave it a good effort, uh, you know, gave it everything they had. And, you know, Misek just kind of out, out, toughed them out tonight and got the breaks. And Yeah, both teams had some shining moments out there, many, and uh, things to work on for next week. But just a great ball game uh, in the third quarter. Uh, Swatowski just started us right off. You know, he ran one to the house right out of the gate. Right. Very exciting run. Yep, senior jumped Trey over, Switowski. Jumped over one of his players, the middle of his body, and just he wasn't going to be denied. And uh, you kind of wondered if that was going to just be the shift in the ball game, But it wasn't. Um, at 4.30 of the third, uh, Stewart, great drive by the Bulldogs, capitalizing, I, I believe, on an eagle turnover. Uh, Stewart uh, ran it in on a quarterback keeper to put the Bulldogs back uh, in the game. And then uh, Ryder Hall, 30-yard run for the Eagles, uh, 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter, so back come the Eagles. Yeah, and, and <laughs> boy, we really got a good picture of his acceleration on that play because he just boy. blasted through the line and he was gone. Yeah, you don't want him to get too many steps beyond the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he had a lot of nice yeah. uh, light, nice plays, both offensively and defensively. Boy, we saw some really nice form tackles for him tonight also. Absolutely, and then Matt Bennett with the run of his career so far. Yeah. Uh, with that cutback run. The Bulldogs line holding their blocks, and he just had a textbook cutback run for th probably 30 plus, 40 yards, and all by himself runs it into the end zone. Great to see that for a senior from the Bulldogs. A lot of, lot of names to mention here tonight. Wade Stagg for the Bulldogs defensively. He was a monster. Joe Stewart, oh, defensively as well, not yeah. just offensively. Joe controlled things defensively at times out there. Cole yeah. Spencer yeah. for the Bulldogs. Just pure excitement yep. and enthusiastic. This is enthusiasm. Even when yeah, other players make plays out there, he's pumping his fist and just love to see that. Dalton yeah, Sable. And, and he's just a sophomore too. Yeah, yeah. Dalton Sable for, for the Bulldogs. Smart, smart player. Played his cards right tonight. Good game. Uh, the Eagles, Alex Sutton. Yep. Tons of excitement from that young man. Both World. sides of the ball. Yep. Just about every one of these players yeah. are making it you know, happen on yep. both sides of the ball tonight. Yeah, Charles Acne. Good luck with him yeah. <laughs> because he is just everywhere and he's strong and plays clean but plays hard. Uh, Kyle Clough for the Bulldogs. Yep. Making a lot of plays. And even some of the sophomores coming up for the Bulldogs. Gabe Parrish, a couple of big plays. Yep. Uh, Logan Thomas. Had John Teachout got sides. in there. John Teachout, so boy, just a well-balanced team attack, especially when the Bulldogs got that many guys to try to rotate in. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Tanner Ford had Tanner a couple Ford. nice, uh, maybe, uh, you know. Oh, and uh, defensively, Tanner came up big there. On yeah, the yeah, could have been a touchdown-saving tackle, uh, you know, a yeah. few times there. And we're missing a few names, you, you sure. always do, but boy, just a really exciting game. Uh, Going to be hard to shut it down after watching all of that tonight. Yeah, so, and, a, you know, just a great momentum builder for the Bulldogs. You know, they were 1-1 one and one in the conference, 1-3 one and three overall. Uh, they're looking to, you know, put themselves in a position where they can at least have a chance at a conference, you know, title here. Brethren's leading the way at 3-0. and oh. Uh, but now both Marion and Misek are 2-2 two and two in the conference. Misek's got Big Rapids Crossroads coming in. They've been a little weak this year. Yep. Uh, that's certainly a game that, uh, that that they can't overlook, but uh, I think they have a really good chance to win that one. It's, uh, you know, their homecoming game. 
it's going to be all kinds of, un unfortunately, it, it's all kinds <laughs> of distractions. Yeah, uh, as, a co the as a coach, you always kind of just dreaded that old homecoming because yeah. of all the distractions and everything. But they've got a really good chance to get a little yeah. momentum going with two in a row, you know, yeah, with tonight's do. win and, and next week. And uh, But Marion, you know, they go to Baldwin. Uh, Baldwin's been really struggling, yeah. too. They've yeah. uh, just have trouble getting on the, on the scoreboard this year. Yeah, but, similar uh, dynamic for both teams next week. Whatever we mentioned, whether it be homecoming, you know, playoffs, but at the end of the day, I think with most of our coaches, our high school, they, what they want is a respectable season, mm -hmm. you know, and the right. Bulldogs, you know, took a nice stride towards that tonight for yeah. them because it could have gone, you know, if they dropped this game, you know, that's hard emotionally, it's hard uh, on the players, you know, mentally, but to come up with a big win tonight, you get a step closer to that respectable season. Right. You do. And just, you know, the, the experience with the, you know, with the younger JV players and the confidence build that they pulled out a close one tonight. They didn't have the lead going all the way. It was going back and forth. We had a number of lead changes, and that shows a lot of character, you know, when you get down and you come right back, and then the other team comes back, and then you come back. I mean, uh, you know, both teams were just going at each other. So you guys are treated to a great football game tonight. Uh, we're ready to uh, sign off for a few weeks anyway. And Mike and I will see you back in a few weeks. And, uh, again, we've got the Mesick Bulldogs pulling a close one out, 26-20 to 20 over the Marion Eagles. You've been watching 26 Sports and CCTV. And good night, everybody.